and the power supply that I got with my first ant miner uh, suddenly stopped working and I'm not entirely sure why in fact I think I'll go and get it yes this great big thing which I was using and it was working fine but what it does now is it trips the RCDs um, in the workshop here and if I plug it into one of the power packs with an inverter it comes up with an error message um, over power so I've got a funny feeling that this one um, has an effective short across the mains and I'm just thinking it could be the MOV because I think MOVs sit across the mains to take out transients and their failure mode is to go short. Now I was switching this, this is a soft switch, it's got very thin wires running up to the PCB, but I was switching this from the house, not using the soft switch, I was using the direct mains in. So I'm just wondering whether that killed the MOV, whether you're meant to use this soft switch to switch this thing on and off. We'll have a quick look inside there, but my plan for this is to cut all these cables off the PCB inside there, wire them straight into the holes that I've made on this board, and that way I would have um, the ability to run a third ant miner. Yeah, so let's have a quick look inside here. This is quite different looking to uh, the HP power supplies we've just looked at. Uh, quite spacious in here, although the board actually is quite compact. Again, usual thing, big capacitors for, these will be high voltage I presume. Uh, yeah, 270 microfarads, 420 volts. Big inductors, lots of heat sinks with semiconductor devices on them. But is there a MOV? There's actually a fuse in there, but it won't be that because this is presenting a dead short and tripping my RCD breaker. That could be a MOV down there near the class Y caps. I mean, it could be a class X or class Y. Actually, these are probably class X, aren't they? Uh, but that disc does look like a MOV. So maybe that has failed and caused this thing to fail. I can't remember how many amps this is. 60 amps comes to mind, 12 volts, 60 amps. Um, but I don't know, it's just some anonymous thing with very few markings on it. Ah, oh, now that black disc actually has NTC written on it. It's very hard to see, but an NTC will be in series with the mains, not across it. So maybe it's a class X cap that's gone. And, and now, because that, that's an NTC, I'm not even sure this has got a MOV. So maybe it's not worth wasting too much time on this. I don't know.